Assalamu alaikum. I am Azmain Yazjudan. I read in standard 4. Today my science project is a hydraulic arm robot. The materials are used for the project are cardboard, syringes, pipes, sh shaslik sticks, hot glue, super glue, electric cable ties, colors, waters. Now I will show how my robot works. Thank you for watching my science project. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ishak Muhammad Shafariyat from class 4 B1. Today I am going to tell you all about magnets. A magnet is a metal object that attracts or pulls other magnets towards itself. There are types of magnets, for example, bar, ring, oval, cylinder, horseshoe, and needle magnets. Magnets can also be found naturally in the ground. Lodestone is an example of a natural magnet. Objects can also be made of metals, for example, nut, paper, clip, car, screw, and leather. What I have here is a Barton magnet, and I also have this metal statue. What happens if I put this magnet to the statue? It sticks. That means magnetic objects can be attracted by metal objects. And some objects are made of non metal, for example, table, leaf, rubber, wool, and button. And I have this fish tank over here that is made of glass and what happens if I put this metal to this glass object and let's go it didn't stick that means magnets cannot be attracted by non-magnetic objects also every magnet has two poles a north pole and a south pole when different poles about close to each other they attract right here and when same poles attract about close to each other they repel this is called a force of repulsion. This picture shows that uh, this and this picture shows that magnets are strongest at its pole but weakest in the middle. Also, uses of magnets. Magnets play important roles of our everyday lives. Fridge, for example, fridge magnets, chessboard magnets, and last one. And there are some examples of the everyday uses of a magnet: speakers, phones, rockets, car, headphone, magnet train, and microphone. However, Magnets do not last long. They can be they can lose their magnetism if they are heated strongly or hit many times. I hope you learned everything from the chapter magnets and I want to thank you my staff science teacher Sharmin Alam for instructing me to make this project. Assalamu alaikum and I hope you have a great time. Okay. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ahmed Sajid and today I am going to show my science project. It is about if plastic things can be you can see uh, that I have kind of a water bottle and a balloon. So let me show how my science project is going to be for this fair. So I uh, all the things you need is just a bottle along with a balloon and two bowls. One filled with hot water and the other cold water. So, let me explain you how to use these things before dipping them. You can, you never know if they can be right or not. So, here is the hot water bottle. It's filled with hot water and this is the cold one. It's cold. And anyway, we can see that steam is coming out of it. Is steam coming out of it? Then it is a perfect one. So let's dump it here. So we are going to dump it here now. Get upright. Yes.
Yes, we can see that the balloon has inflated. So, let me explain you how did the balloon actually inflate itself. So, as you can see, steam is coming out of water. And the steam warms up the water bottle. And you can see the water bottle is becoming too white. A little bit white. And anyway, uh, all the gases are literally warming up the inside of it. And then causing the balloon to swell. You can use also as fire as well. So now, we're going to test this on cold water. Now, it's going to deflate. Wait for some time. It has now deflated. As you can see, uh, in hot water, it inflates. And in cold water, it deflates. Now, when we give it in cold water, let me warm it up first. All the air molecules are loosened up. That means all the gases inside it lose its temperature. So making the balloon to deflate. So that's for all today. I will explain to you enough. Assalamu alaikum. Goodbye. Assalamu alaikum. I am Shafkat Ahmed from standard 4 b1 so today i will show you an experiment about air to do this experiment i need only a match and and a glass okay then let's start so you can see the fire okay so I put it here and now what happens the magic hmm. well let me explain this experiment now the part of the air that supports burning is called oxygen when we cover with the glass the fire burns the oxygen oxygen is depleted the fire goes out and the air cools the volume of the air decreases and the water rises so i hope you liked my experiment thank you assalamu alaikum warahmatullah Okay. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Abdullah Islam. We live on Earth, which is one of the eight planets of the solar system. Today we're going to learn about the sizes of the planets. First, there's Pluto, a dwarf planet made of ice and rock. It is the first object discovered in the Kuiper Belt. Then comes the moon, a satellite of the Earth, which is 1,837.1 kilometers across, about a quarter of the size of the Earth. The moon is slightly smaller than Mercury, the closest planet to the sun. Then, of course, there is Mars, which people want to go to. It's slightly bigger than one half of Earth, our home planet. The Earth is the only known planet that has life on it. Our sister planet, Venus, is the same size as Earth and is the hottest planet in the solar system due to greenhouse gases. Then comes, then we'll talk about Uranus, which is the only planet in the solar system that spins on its side. It is four Earth wide. Then comes Neptune, which is slightly bigger than Uranus. Then there is Saturn, which is famous for its rings, which are made of rocks. It is nine Earths wide, but in fact, all the gas giants have rings some of them are just hard to see like jupiter which is 11 earths wide which is famous for its red spot a storm the size of earth all these planets orbit our star the sun which is 10 times bigger than the biggest planet in the solar system jupiter conclusion when we see the sizes of these celestial bodies we are humbled to see how small we are in the whole universe